Thank you, Eric. Well, it's not uncommon to be exercising more or training harder with the start of a new year. Yeah, but if you've noticed a tightening in your chest, a coughing or wheezing, you may have an undiagnosed condition we commonly call exercise-induced asthma. And health reporter Haley Hernandez is here to explain. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Exercise-induced asthma is different than just regular asthma. You can actually get this at any age, and you aren't more likely to have it just because you have asthma. You also may only notice it during certain seasons. Exercise-induced asthma isn't just for people who are out of shape or struggle to run. Even the most fit athletes could feel the effects. Believe it or not, it's very commonly seen in athletes, especially athletes at, uh, at the elite level. Those who work out, you know, outdoors uh, will typically start to experience these symptoms. It doesn't have to be all the time, but especially when the weather is very cold, when it's dry, and where they're not wearing masks or something to help humidify and warm the air that they're breathing in. Symptoms for exercise-induced asthma include shortness of breath, chest tightness, cough, and wheezing while working out, not chronically, which is far different than shortness of breath with a cardio workout. And these symptoms might not pop up during other times. It's finicky like that. So the only true way to be sure you have it is to get tested. What we'd probably like to do is have you do a pulmonary function test. Don't worry, it's not scary. I tried it myself. It took less than three minutes and I was done. Effort was excellent. If I had failed the test, I'd likely be leaving with one of these. And making sure you have it close by in case you start to develop symptoms during or after workout as well. So the doc doctor from Texas ENT says if you feel chest tightening and can't breathe, then that's uh, that can be an emergency that requires immediate medical attention. But typically, an inhaler can help with people for people who have exercise-induced asthma, or you may have to just avoid working out during those peak allergy seasons or during those really cold, dry winter days. Luckily, we don't have a terrible amount of them, but still, it's good I to know. know. Exactly.